Thanks for clicking on the play. I'm Dave Morris. Another week and another round of big headlines. And we start with same-sex marriage, which is now legal in Oklahoma. Earlier today, the U.S. Supreme Court declined to review five same-sex marriage cases, including the case from Oklahoma. A high court's decision means rulings from lower courts stand. Earlier this summer, the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals ruled Oklahoma's ban on same-sex marriage was unconstitutional. Upon hearing the news, many couples headed to the Oklahoma County Courthouse to file for their marriage licenses. It's amazing. I'm, I'm glad. I'm very happy. Congratulations. Nine years we spent together. I think we deserve the right to be considered a legally married couple since we've been married in our hearts for eight years. The Oklahoma will have several articles about same-sex marriage in our state, including feedback from social media and reaction from local religious leaders. Look for more information in tomorrow's editions. The State Corrections Department has granted early release to roughly 1,500 inmates since March. That's a move that has drawn sharp criticism from some. But agency officials say only two of those convicts have gotten into trouble once they were set free. Our Andrew Niddle will have more on the move in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. The new home for OGE Energy will be a 26-floor tower. That's taller than previously discussed by developers. Clayco, which is developing the OGE Tower, also has proposed building three other towers adjacent to the structure at the former Stage Center site. The proposal we submitted to the Oklahoma City Urban Renewal Authority was basically twin 25-story office buildings set on a two-block area next to the Myriad Garden uh, Foundation Park and uh, two residential towers, 26 floors each, uh, luxury, first of a kind in this market, we believe. Another firm competing for development of the south half of the Stage Center property has proposed a mixed-use 20-story tower with office, residential, and parking. Now you can catch up with Steve Lackmeyer at 7 o'clock tonight at NewsOK.com for our live chat on all of that. Interesting stuff. The energy company that said it purchased the Gold Dome building is experiencing financial difficulty. Brianna Bailey was reporting that those financial troubles prevented the sale of the facility to Teamco, and little work has been done on that building. Additional showers and storms will be possible across parts of Oklahoma this evening with the greatest chance for rain happening in southern Oklahoma. Several of the storms could be severe with hail and wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Another round of showers and storms could be possible beginning Thursday and lasting through the weekend. Highs will be in the 90s and upper 80s over the next few days and we should see a dip in the temperatures beginning Friday. There you have it. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. That live chat with Steve Blackmire tonight at 7 on NewsOK.com. And, of course, these stories and videos, plenty more available online as well. Have a great Monday night, everyone.